Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, back with another video. So today I wanted to talk about Vanquish Soul because it was another mid-range deck that I really, you know, wanted to play. I think it's a fun deck. Uh, so I thought I'd get into just, you know, play it, you know, showcase some replays, what it can do, how it goes, you know the deal with these videos at this point. Um, so let's hop in straight into the card by card. First up, we're on two copies of Caesar Valleys. So this is a small world bridge, so you have to play two, despite the fact that you really only want to use one. Uh, but it works as a small world bridge really effectively, and subsequently you really have to have two. Uh, sucks, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, three copies of Borger, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's gonna draw you lots of cards. Uh, it's basically the heart and soul of the deck and how it aims to out-resource your opponent. Um, and without it, the deck kind of fails to function. He's also a seven, which means that he's very useful for making exactly cast your Arise Heart, as well as things like Big Eye and Red, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon in time, which is always very nice. Uh, additionally, he burns in time, which is really good, which means you don't really need the burn cards for time, but it's always nice to have them just in the extras. They're always successful. Uh, of course, we're on Fenrir. It's an Earth to reveal, uh, as well as being removal, uh, just a free dude. Um, it's Kestira Fenrir. Uh, he searches fires, he searches Earths uh, for you to reveal, uh, and subsequently is also removal cards. Um, just fantastic, fantastic. We have a copy of Pluton. He exists for the singular purpose of, you know, being a guy to reveal off of uh, as a fire that you can search off Rosin. Uh, Rosin here is the heart and soul of the deck. Uh, failing to find him is uh, very, very bad. It's why we're playing Small World and Prosperity. Uh, as well as Rhoda to find him. We'll do anything to get to him. Uh, this card is fantastic. It enables your entire resource loop. Uh, it enables you to find whatever else you need. Um, you, you need to find Rosin, basically. Uh, if you don't find Rosin, you're you're in a bad spot. Uh, just absolute three of you need him as much as you can possibly get. Uh, Pantera, great earth to search, great earth to reveal. Uh, she's also a free summon, just a free body that you can get out, as well as she clears back row, which is always really nice when you play against like back row decks. Uh, just always good. Uh, Kestira Rise Heart, uh, just as a way to make sevens, uh, I search pull off of Fenrir, uh, as well as just being a fire to reveal is always really nice. Uh, it's cast your Fenrir, and sometimes you know your Rise Heart vanishes when you want to summon him out, make like a big eye, is always really, really good. Uh, Mad Love is the Spell Trap Searcher, uh, doesn't search, search stake, unfortunately, but she is really good. Uh, occasionally her bounce effect does come up, uh, which is always nice, uh, but mostly she's just a dark to reveal off of Borger, as well as searching uh, things like Dust Devil and Continue, uh, so she helps facilitate your grind, uh, and you're going to want to be searching her in combo very, very much much. Uh, Ash Blossom is a very strong hand trap that additionally gets it the benefit of being a fire, a small world bridge, etc, etc. Uh, Bell, same thing as Ash, strong hand trap. Uh, it's an earth that you reveal. Uh, really good card in this deck. Uh, Div Incarnate, uh, it works for small world lines because it's a one who is also a fire who has 1500 attack and defense, uh, as well as just, you know, being a good thing you can small world into. Uh, we have two extra copies in the side here so that we can always reach her. A uh, copy of Rhoda, extra copy of Rosin, uh, Stake Your Soul. If you're unfamiliar with this card, you reveal a monster in your hand, especially someone a vanquish soul monster with the same attribute, but a different name from your deck, and but you return it to hand during the end phase. Uh, it's not going to stick around, so that effect is irrelevant, but uh, this card's fantastic. It's just E-Telly. Uh, Prosperity, we do want to draw off of Borger in this deck, but the important thing is that, uh, you know, we always want to find Rosin, so it's more important to find Rosin than to, you know, get our Borger draw. Uh, three copies of Small World, again, anything for Rosin. Uh, if we need Div Incarnate, if we need another name, you know, Small World gets you there because this deck is like designed for Small World. Uh, two copies to continue, you pay 500, target a Vanquish Soul Monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand or special in defense. Just, you know, it's a reborn that you can search off Bad Love, fantastic card. Uh, one copy of Dust Devil, Dust Devil's fantastic. You target a Vanquish Soul Monster in control, you change the battle position, and then you get to change face up monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position up to the number of Vanquish Soul Monsters you control with different names. Usually, this is at least a uh, Book of Moon for two. Uh, and it's just really good that you can search like a Book of Moon in a world where, you know, Kestir is the best deck and Book of Moon essentially reads when the game. Three Caps of Infib, just a really good hand trap. Uh, in the extra, we have a Chaos Angel because, you know, we're playing the Bistials inside. Uh, Borger's a dark, uh, Mathos a dark, uh, the Bistials are sixes, so, you know, you can make Chaos Angel relatively easily. A copy of Baron, if we really need to, we can go into it off of a Fenrir or a Borger with one of our hand traps. Uh, if we're really desperate, a copy of Arise Heart uh, and a copy of Zeus. A copy of Red Eyes, Flare Metal Dragon for time stuff. Uh, as well as just, you know, to close out games with Big Eye to steal stuff. It's Big Eye. It's a really good card. Cowboy for game. Uh, again, uh, Tornado Dragon to clear more back row. Goddess to out weird stuff. Uh, Nightmare Package to out weird stuff. As well as, you know, three copies of the Rock. This card is the heart and soul of the deck. There's like three cards that are heart and soul. I've said that three times, but it still remains true. Uh, it's the Link 1. It can't be used as a Link Material. And while I control effect for soul monster, your opponent's monsters cannot target monsters you control with the highest attack uh, as the attack target. They have to pick the one with the highest attack. Sorry. Uh, and during the main phase, quick effect, you can activate one of these effects. You special summon a Vanquish Soul from your hand, or you add a Vanquish Soul monster from your graveyard right to your hand. That's a quick effect, so, you know, you get to play on your opponent's turn. In the side, we have a Bistial package of three Magma and a Druus, two, the two other copies of Tiff Incarnate, three evenly matched, 
uh, three copies of Eradicator, because Borker is, you know, he's 2,500 attack points, and he's a dark, and three copies of Tiku, because we can play under it. So with that, let's hop into some games. So, first up, we are playing against Lab, and as you can tell, this is post-Age of Overlord, since they have Arias, which is bad news for us. We'll start with Stake, uh, in order to get out a copy of Rosin. From here, we are going to search out a copy of, you know, the Borger, because we have everything. We will proceed to special summon out Mad Love. We'll go Mad Love here, we'll go get a copy of Dust Devil, and from here, we will balance this copy of Mad Love for Borger. We will reveal and draw, and we will set this copy of Dust Devil with two hand traps against Lab, which is fantastic. We'll try to draw, they'll be met with Imperm, which stinks for us, but you know, it is what it is. They'll go for the field spell, which starts to be bad news. Ah, uh, they will set one back row, they'll fire their welcome. We will ash this, they'll get back this Arias, but we really don't care here. Ah, uh, it's fine by us. Ah, uh, they'll go to battle phase, walk over our Borger, or attempt to, before realizing that it has less attack. They'll go main two, we'll go for Mad Love, and then we will tag out this Mad Love. We'll go for Caesar Valius, we will reveal all three attributes, and then we will pop their back row, which is fine by us, as their big welcome is offline. From here, we will Borger to draw, and proceed to start to wrap this up. We'll pop another card on the field, uh, which will be their Arias. Uh, from here, we'll switch to attack, no more Mad Love, and we're just going to try to get in for a whole bunch of damage, and our opponent will scoop it up. So for this next match, we are playing up against, you know, Unchained. We'll start with Stake again. You know, we'll go get a Caesar Valleys here. We'll normal summon a Rosin. Uh, and from here, we're going to start to, you know, get off to the races. We will go for the Rock here. Uh, we're going to special out the Scuffy of Mad Love. Mad Love's going to go grab us and continue. We'll set to and pass back to our opponent uh, and return Caesar Valleys in the end phase. They've drawn, you know, full combo here. They have a Trap and an Aruha with Pop. So they will pop their set. Uh, and from here, they will trigger. Uh, we'll go for continue here. We'll go get Rosin here because we really need to start, you know, getting stuff out. We'll go for Rakea. Uh, from here, we'll go for Rosin. We will go get Borger. Uh, we'll tag out our Mad Love, as well as triggering our Mad Love to reveal and put this, uh, this Rakea back in hand, non-targeting, so they don't know which one it is, so they just elect to continue. From here, we'll draw. They'll go for Talents here. Uh, they'll shuffle back our Caesar Valleys, which really sucks here, but we kind of got to let this happen. From here, they'll go for, you know, the Red Dog. They'll pop their Aruha and special out their Dog. They'll attempt to, you know, link away. And from here, we're going to book their board so they can't link away. Uh, they'll normal the Rakea. Pop the dog. Uh, they're, you know, going to try to play through here, but we have Bell, fortunately, for the dog. And from here, they'll just go for to try to go to battle before realizing Rock has text. End, fate, end of main, we will go for Rock. We'll go get Mad Love, get another continue, and then proceed to try to wrap this up. we got to play through a whole bunch of floaters, and Rota's a pretty good start, so we'll go get another copy of Rosin to Normal Summon, and our opponent will proceed to Conceit. So, this is our last matchup against Try, and they've opened three hand traps plus double fractal, which is bad news for us, and we've opened double, double Caesar. But uh, fortunately, we're going to try to get there. Uh, they'll go for Ferrisheet, uh, they'll go for Karas. Uh, Karas will, you know, get them Try. Uh, and from here, they're going to make a Try Heart, which is kind of annoying. It's He's kind of an annoying guy to out, because, uh, you know, all of our main deck monsters, you know, they go to defense really badly. We'll draw our eyes in for turn, which is really good, because we can get out a copy of Rosin. Uh, which will immediately be met by Valor. Fortunately, we can tag this out for a copy of Borger. Uh, from here, we will go proceed to add, you know, Mad Love. Uh, we'll attempt to draw a card. We'll be met with an Imperm. We'll tag this out. Um, they're going to try to banish our guy, which is completely fine with us. They're going to banish this copy of, you know, Caesar Valleys, but we, we've got more gas. We haven't committed to our normal. We'll draw Small World for turn, which is actually really solid. We'll chain this copy of, you know, uh, our Valleys. They'll get their search off of you know, Shurig. We'll go for Small World here. Um, we're going to go get a copy of Fenrir. Uh, Fenrir is, of course, going to grab us uh, another Fenrir, uh, since we already have the boy. We'll go get Mad Love. We're going to need that Book of Moon here uh, to keep them off of more gas. We'll special summon the Borger and pass back to them. Uh, this is, unfortunately, a rough spot to be in, and they'll draw right card for turn. We will chain this Rosin here to add back a Pantera. Since we have everything we could ask for, we'll proceed to banish their right card face down, uh, and then they will normal summon Rescue Cat. From here, we're going to book the Cat um, and then, you know, they're going to go for Fractal, we will Ash, and from here they're just going to go to battle and walk over our Borger, uh, set a copy of Arrival face down, and pass back to us. We will proceed to, you know, normal this Pantera, we'll pop their set, which is good news for us. Uh, from here we'll special summon out this copy of Mad Love. Mad Love's going to go search us another continue, and from here we are almost there to that magic number four in order to get ourselves our ever-lovely Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. So from here we'll get up back a Caesar, uh, and then we'll proceed to draw a card before we go for Goddess. Uh, we'll pop their, you know, rescue cats that can't do anything, make Goddess, go to battle, and proceed to getting for a whopping 3k before passing back to our opponent with Rock. Uh, from here, they'll draw, you know, Reich Phobia, which is, you know, about as good as it gets, the lowest in the tryhard. Uh, and from here, we will proceed to special summon out this copy of Frozen, and then we're going to, you know, pop their, their guy, uh, and 
they will concede as a result. So looking at the deck, uh, it's very flexible. You know, it gets to play a decent amount of hand traps. Uh, it feels very good to play. Uh, if you don't see Rosin though, it's a lot of pain. Um, you need to be finding him pretty much every time or your resource loop is essentially gone. It's a lot like trying to play striker when you know you can't find Ray. Uh, it, it, it just feels a little hopeless, aimless, directionless, like you're doing things for no reason, except a whole lot worse. Um, the other weakness is, of course, that, you know, you only have three copies of Rock, and if they all go away, it really sucks. Uh, I really, you know, wish we had, we could just play, like, five copies of Rock. Truth be told, if I could play 15 copies of Rock, I would play 15 copies of Rock, but, you know, I can't. Um, but overall, the deck feels, you know, pretty solid. Uh, I, I'd rank it in, like, solid tier two. Uh, I think if it gets, when it gets more support, the new Worm guy seems pretty good. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I think this is a fun deck to play. I just wish it wasn't so expensive to play in paper. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.